Hi, my name is Saif Gallagher. I am a plastic and reconstructive surgeon specializing in gender affirmation surgery. Uh, so this video is about what exactly to expect uh, when you come to see me uh, for your top surgery consultation, because I know it can be pretty scary. Uh, your first time for a lot of folks, it's uh, the first time uh, visiting a surgeon, first time visiting a plastic surgeon. So what exactly are we gonna do to you? Um, so what I wanna do is uh, break it down, make it super simple. Oftentimes Times on a Friday we'll see I think our record was maybe 10 guys maybe 10 11 12 guys something like that uh, for top surgery for new visits so usually by the time you come to see me we already have a fair idea of who you are and um, what uh, your journey has been with regards uh, transitioning uh, in that uh, oftentimes ahead of time you will have uh, sent us a letter from a mental health uh, professional before so it's the first thing we also like to know beforehand if you're insurance is going to cover this surgery or uh, whether they're not going to cover it and you, you're going to have to pay. So oftentimes that's information myself and Emma like to give you uh, beforehand so you're kind of prepared uh, as to what you're uh, walking into. But if you have any questions about that sort of stuff, we're always happy uh, to answer. So oftentimes the whole thing takes about maybe 45 minutes and um, usually we don't run too far behind. Uh, the clinic I'm at right now uh, tends to be really efficient. So um, what uh, the first thing we do is oftentimes either Amanda, our nurse, or Ashley, our PA, will pop in before, have a quick chat, um, get to know you, um, you know, check for any kind of surprises, anything like that. And oftentimes they'll take some photographs. Okay, so the photographs are absolutely nothing to be worried about. So the photographs are usually for your insurance company. And what they'll do is they'll take pictures from the neck down, so your face isn't in it. And uh, these photographs are you know, protected, they're confidential photos, they absolutely don't go anywhere else except to your insurance company. Uh, so that will usually be the first thing. If somebody's with you, given a ride or whatever, absolutely you can have them step out of the room. Nobody needs to see your chest who doesn't uh, have any business in your chest. So uh, that would be the first uh, part of the visit. Then usually after that, I will come in. And so what I like to do initially is um, we, you know, chat a little bit about, um, we kind of get the business part out of the way. So the business part is your medical history. So what we'll focus on is um, any medical conditions you might have, any medications, um, any uh, previous surgeries. And what I'm really looking for, is there any reason uh, medically that surgery might be dangerous for you in the vast majority of folks it's really not surgery is very safe in this day and age other things we'll talk about is smoking it's really important to be um, as uh, honest as possible about this if you smoke right now it's just you need to be off at six weeks before your surgery um, in order to make sure your nipples uh, are okay so we We'll talk about that, you know, we'll talk about um, your breast cancer risk, uh, that sort of thing. And then what we'll do is a quick exam. So the exam is super quick and easy. It doesn't take long. I usually have folks stand up. You can keep your gown on. And uh, what we'll do is check each breast one at a time. And we're just checking for any lumps or bumps and it really shouldn't hurt. It's not my business to hurt you. So if it hurts, you let me know. And you know, I change what I'm doing. Uh, so we're gonna check for any lumps or bumps and then we're gonna check underneath the arm, see if there's any lumps or bumps in there. And then at the same time, when we're doing that uh, exam, I can give you a very good idea of you know where exactly um, the scars are going to be, um, you know, where your nipples are going to sit, that sort of thing, uh, whether they're going to have to meet in the middle, how far in the back we're going to have to go uh, with your incision. So hopefully to give you a kind of idea of maybe what to expect for the final surgery. And then at that point, we just sit down and chat. And um, that's when you get to ask me questions. Some folks come in with a lot of questions. Some folks um, kind of know everything already um, or are happy enough from looking at Instagram, looking at um, uh, these videos uh, but at that point you know it's your time to ask me anything you know we can talk in detail about the day of surgery or that sort of thing um, if mom or dad or relatives or anybody else is there you know it's, it's their opportunity to ask questions uh, as well and then you put your clothes back on and usually that's it oftentimes we can't give you a date um, for your surgery at the time because we usually have to have uh, your insurance company approve the surgery before we're able uh, to get you 
on the schedule but um, it's usually a quick and easy visit nothing to be nervous uh, about nobody's judging you usually if you've made it uh, to the office uh, it usually means your letter is good and uh, it's kind of a formality and just making sure we're going to be safe and good to go ahead uh, with surgery so I'll look forward uh, to seeing you there.